Coach Simmons. Ethan, go ahead. Yep. Coach, um, can you describe just what the feeling is now, you know, with with the offense doing what it did, you know, compared to about a week ago? And is there kind of now a newfound zest with the season after after this past Saturday? Yeah, you know, I, I think anytime you can put up, you know, 46 points after halftime um, and put up 49 for a game, you're certainly going to have a lot more confidence and energy. Um, felt like, you know, we, we got everybody involved in the game plan and, and we, we played the, we, we executed the game plan. You know, we got great productivity from our wide receiver room, got great productivity from our running back room, our tight end room. Obviously, you know, we're, we were certain, certainly really excited about how Ryan played as well on Saturday. And so, I, you know, I think there's, there's, there's certainly a, a, a lot of reasons right now to be, to, to be optimistic about where we're at offensively moving forward for sure. I mean, how big of a moment was it for you, you know, knowing the, the changes and then to, you know, get the result from, from your team, knowing that you maybe do things a little bit differently than some offensive coordinators and just get, the, get that result? Well, for us, it's, you know, the bottom line is we, 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 we still want to find a way to win, you know, and so you leave there and, you know, we, we, felt, we felt two points short, you know, from, from, from getting a win. And so um, you, you, there's certainly reason to build, uh, certainly excited about, about what we did offensively on Saturday, but we got to find a way to get one more point than our opponent. Um, and, you know, that's, that's playing complimentary football. And, you know, we got to continue to work and dig to find those two more points, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like the energy from an offensive standpoint is high right now. Uh, because guys, you know, are, are, you know, we're, we're, we're using everybody on the field, whether it was our wide receivers, tight ends, running backs. Uh, we got contributions from every position group, and so guys certainly have a different, you know, different level of juice about them right now. Uh, we just got to continue to dig to find those two extra points so we can get away with a win and and, uh, and and feel really good about where we're at as a program there. Thanks, Coach Evans. Uh, how would you compare and contrast Hudson and Ryan as runners right now? Well, I, you know, I, I think when you look at when you look at Hudson, he, he's a really good athlete. Um, we didn't run him as much early in the year. Um, you know, if we were to run Hudson right now, if we were we were to give Hudson the same game plan that we gave Ryan on Saturday, he would be able to execute it. And that, you know, he would be able to execute that plan. Um, you know, we we and that that was part of you know I think the evolution of where we're at is how can we continue to utilize everybody on the field and and maximize. Uh, the ability to force people to defend 53 and a third by 120. You know, we got to be able to, we got to be able to get productivity out of our tight end room. Uh, we got to be able to get productivity out of our wide receiver room. Um, and so, you know, those were two areas that were important to us this week. And uh, you know, th those two groups of people really stepped up for us on Saturday. Um, you know, moving forward, we're going to be able to, you know, we're going to be able to use both quarterbacks moving forward, and and, and have a plan for both. But when you look at them athletically. You know, I, I think Hudson doesn't get enough credit for how good of an athlete he is. You know, early in the season, uh, we saw him, you know, be able to extend plays and make plays out of the pocket. Uh, and, you know, obviously we saw Ryan do that on Saturday as well. Not not only just scrambling for first downs, but also in the run game too. You're saying you have a plan to use them both this week? We do. We do. You know, I, I think moving forward, you know, it, it's, it's our responsibility as an offensive staff to continue to put – Put, to put our players in the best possible position to be successful. And, uh, you know, for us, it's, you know, how, how can we go about doing that with all of the available pieces to us? So it could be using them both in the same game, assuming both are healthy. Could be, yeah. yeah. Um, what would it mean to this team to score first? Well, you know, we felt like we were in a good position to do that on Saturday. You know, I think when you go back and you look at the last two weeks, you know, we had a good drive going uh, early in the game. Up at Camp Randall, and we got a holding call. You know, when we were just shy of midfield, same thing happened here. You know, we 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 get Reggie Love loose in the open field, and you know, we get get a run down to the ten yard line, and you know, we, we get that run called back for holding. Then we get behind, you know, get behind the sticks, and so, you know, I, I think both of those opportunities on our opening drives the last two weeks, we had good things going, and you know, it was self inflicted wounds that got us, and so we got to continue to emphasize and harp on the harp on the details and the and the discipline. That we're going to need to be successful offensively. Um, when you look at, you know, when we got rolling in the second half, we were we were behind the chains far less. You know, early in the first half, we had second and 17, we had second and 21, we had a second and 13. We had far less of those in the second half, and you know, I, I think that's a testament to winning the first 
first play of every drive in the second half, but but also like our, our discipline and focus was better in the second half, and I mean, that led to us, you know, having a high level of execution as well. Have you guys made any alterations to how you're approaching schematically the, the start of games? Uh, did you analyze whether that was an issue as to why it's been, just for the past two years, even before you got here, this team has played from behind almost constantly. Yeah, you know, I, I, it hasn't been hasn't been a huge point of emphasis for us. Like, you know, we, it's, you know, especially the last two weeks, we've gone to work on like, here's our game plan, and then as we get later in the week, like, what are, what what are the plays that we feel best about? When we were up in uh, when we were up in Madison, you know, for us, it, we wanted to show different personnel looks. We wanted to get different personnel groupings on the field. Um, Saturday at Illinois, we had a different we had a different start to the game, um, you know, philosophically, and for us, it's got to continue to be about how can we take our players and get them in the best possible position to be successful? And that's that's been our focus the last two weeks in terms of how we're going to start games. Um, when Ryan found out he was starting, just what did you see from him in, in terms of his response uh, with his preparation and in practice and things like that? Yeah, when, when you look at, you know, two weeks ago when we were getting ready for Wisconsin, he had a great week of practice, had a great week of preparation. Uh, we had a small package for him going into that game. Uh, when you look at, you know, when you look at this week, you know, the, the, the weekend ready for Illinois, his, his focus was really high. His energy level was really high. Uh, he's, he's got a high football IQ, and that, that's who he is as a person. Like, if you, you run into him in the hallway, he's got great, he's got great juice and energy about him. Uh, he, he's an infectious person. And, you know, I, I think our guys gravitated towards that last week when he knew he was going to he was going to be the starter. Uh, and you saw our guys rally around him. You know, the first half didn't, didn't necessarily translate the points. Uh, but but the juice and energy was there, and then when we got into a rhythm in the second half, like it, it, you know, he was he was really contagious. Can you just break down the last two point conversion there at Illinois and what needed to be better there for that to work? Yeah, you, when you go back and you watch it, we felt like we had the running back in the flat right now on the snap, and, and you know I think that's that's probably the hardest part of the read, you know, is being able to see him and, and trust where you're ripping that football to. And then we had, we, you know, we had Max Clare coming open late. You know, if Ryan could have held in there a little bit longer, you know, because they, they, they brought pressure into it. Um, you know, we had we had Max coming late open. Um, and certainly, you know, we, we were going to have, a, you know, we, we were going to walk in. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, I think that's part of his evolution and his growth as a Q. Like, you know, in, in that moment, in that situation, the last thing, you know, the last thing we want to do is take a sack. And, uh, you know, to Ryan's defense, he hasn't been in that situation. And so, you know, for us, it, it's, it, it, it's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow because we didn't get that. We fell one point short. Um, but at the same time, it's a great learning moment for him and for us to build on moving forward. Basically, you just talk about the decision-making process on the gopher two or not. Who was involved? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure which can all reveal, but I'm always kind of interested to see about the decision making process and what they're going for and trying to get the win. Yeah, you know, when we, when we when we ended the game tied, Coach Walter said, if we have an opportunity to go for two and the win, we're going. And that that for us, like that, that's exactly what we wanted. You know, from an offensive staff standpoint, we walked through our two point play calls. Uh, we felt like the one that we had dialed up next was, was would, would give us the best opportunity to get a guy open right now. Um, and then, you know, for us, there would be, so that way you get into that moment and there's no hesitation. When you score, you know, there's no hesitation. Your players know you're going for two. The mindset's where you want it to be. Uh, and we're going to have an opportunity. And, you know, when you when you talk with Coach Walters and you spend any time with him at all, like there's no there's no doubt we're going for two because we're, we're in control of our own fate at that point. And uh, you know, it, it, as a as an offensive staff, you can't ask for anything more but to be in control of your own fate. And unfortunately, we came up, you know, we came up just short. Any other questions for Coach Simmons?